helps women stay we asked our colleagues how they manage their overall health and well-being along with their work and family all my life i was like if i'm not fat i'm already healthy so unlearning all of that is the most challenging process what i can see i feel it like a regular basis i mean finding time and energy to do things like exercise regularly or preparing a nutritious meal i think it's like a constant battle this one area which i have struggled for years that's making time for fitness Apart from the most obvious ways that one can manage their lifestyle, I think managing a healthy lifestyle is a very privileged state to be in because it comes with an ecosystem that supports you. Like for example, whether you have family access to family, access to good food, all of that comes with a lot of uh, privilege that we take for granted. So I think taking care of one's health is a complete holistic way of looking at. Not always, I would say. Sometimes I feel like I'm not making enough for my family, or like I'm not uh, taking good care of myself because I have to look after my family. I know what are the challenges the society individuals face, but what I see with me around my family is not on the same parameter. I think, irrespective of that, I still go ahead and prioritize myself. Uh, so that's what I do. Maybe uh, they will understand. is what i feel yes absolutely i do face challenges in prioritizing uh, my health over my family that also goes back to saying how women have always been looked at as caretakers and not as care receivers women often find themselves juggling multiple roles as professionals mothers wives and caregivers with little time left for self care the pressure to excel in every role often leaves women neglecting their own health the impact of this neglect comes out as women are more likely to experience chronic stress anxiety and depression as they struggle to meet the demands placed upon them this chronic stress can lead to a variety of physical health issues including heart disease pregnancy issues obesity menstrual problems headaches and migraines i think women have to uh, invest financially in their healthcare facilities whether it is buying the right kind of insurance my advice would be to prioritize self care without guilt do things that make you happy even if it's a small little habit and not think like you know i'm doing it for me uh, not for my family so i should be guilty about it so don't feel like uh, that especially in india a lot of women they are anemic i mean they have deficiency in iron and uh, you know other minerals in their body so that uh, they start investing in their health rather than investing in their golds and silver and diamonds and all together first you got to give yourself permission to put yourself on top of your list there are too many responsibilities too much to juggle but only you can do that make health fitness wellness priorities and second thing This is something I actually discovered very recently was that whatever you do do it as an act of self love because that's something you deserve not just on women's day on every day happy women's day